guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. Thanks for joining me again today. So yesterday I went to have coffee with my friend Carol. We went to a brand new coffee shop in Huntsville, Alabama. It is called Just Love Coffee. And my understanding is there is a few of them around. Uh, this one is new in Huntsville, just opened on Monday. And it was fantastic. First of all, the service was friendly and wonderful. It ought to be. I mean, it's the first <laughs> week it's been open. Uh, but the food, oh my goodness, y'all, they have this thing called a womlet. It is an omelet cooked in a waffle iron and it was amazing and the coffee was very good too so I loved that they had options for people like me who don't want to do a whole bunch of carbs um, yeah really good food and very guilty foods there too so you got like the Nutella waffles and all of that if you're interested in that so it was very good so right now we are actually in Moulton Mr. Smith say hi howdy howdy we are headed to a friend's house, our friends that live here in the area. They're the ones that moved here from Alaska too. So we are going over to visit them for a little bit. And then, I don't think we have anything else planned for today. Just kind of chilling out on a Saturday morning. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday afternoon and Mr. Smith and I actually just got back from going to the movies. We did something we almost never do. We went to movie theater and saw a movie together. We saw the movie 1917. It was the first time in ages. Uh, Mr. Smith actually mentioned that he wanted to see a movie in the theater. And so we went and saw it before it's too late to see in theaters. So if you have seen any sort of trailers for that movie and thought it looked like something that would interest you, like you would want to see it, I highly recommend it. It was very, <clears throat> it was a very well done movie. So last week I went to an antique store and I mentioned that there was something that I had gotten and I was going to make something out of it. I had a very, different sort of project planned for it and the dog's drinking water over there as usual so the thing that i picked up at the antique store was an old door from a barn and i it wasn't like a big red giant barn door like you would see outside on a barn it was almost normal door sized and it was extremely solid heavy heavy wood now the day I went and got it they didn't have anybody there in the store who could help me carry it and I told the lady I said well I think I can get it myself and I did but whoo buddy it was a challenge I, th I think it probably weighs close to 80 to 100 pounds <laughs> yeah cuz I mean I'm used to carrying 50 pound bags of feed like it's nothing and this is pretty heavy 
So I know you're wondering what I was going to do with the door. Well, I decided that we needed something here inside our main entrance because our house, as I've mentioned in the past, it's a smaller home and the one complaint that I have is it doesn't have enough storage. The only closets in this entire house are our bedroom closets. There's no linen closets, there's no coat closets. And so we needed some place where we could hang a coat or two and not have it look like a jumbled up mess. And I thought about um, finding a hall tree, which is a piece of furniture designed to uh, essentially be a coat rack and all of that. And I was going through the antique store and I was kind of keeping an eye out for a hall tree when I saw this barn door and I thought you know what that barn door is really really cool and I will turn it into a hall tree now it isn't going to have a bench or a table down at the bottom I may make one later on um, to go with it but at this point I have turned it into a place to hold our coats and hold a couple of other things let me show you so I got the barn door and I brought it home and I made a trip to Hobby Lobby because I knew Hobby Lobby would have some rustic looking hooks and, and, and such that I could put on here. So this is the first one and I got two of these, one here and you can see there's one over there. What I love about these hooks is the character and watch this. Isn't that the neatest thing? So I can now walk in the door and hang my coat here. So I have these these larger hooks that are essentially three hooks in one and I've got one there and one over there and you know I had to hang the hat on there because it was very fitting <laughs> for the rustic look. And so then I also got two more of these hooks here, have that wrought iron type of look. And I have one of my egg baskets hanging here because I just thought it was the perfect place to put that particular basket. And I have a second one down there a little bit lower. Don't really have anything hanging on that one at this point, but it's down there in case we want to. So that is my simple little project. I, I told you it wouldn't be much. It was a couple of screws going into, into the wood. And I do need to grab my um, paint pens and paint over the screws. I didn't have any black screws, so I just used uh, my favorite little uh, hex star-shaped uh, wood screws. And I'll just paint over the ends of them with some black paint pen. And then that is it. I've got myself a really cool rustic barn door hall tree. And there we go.